The United States civilian firearms market is the biggest in the world right now, and I am not just talking about the number of gun enthusiasts here. I'm also talking about the sheer volume of firearms in circulation across the 50 states. Hence, it's not really easy to rank which gun is the best and which one you should buy. However, this doesn't mean that I am going to stop giving you the goodies your trigger finger needs. What's up, everyone? This is your boy Ted from Line 45. In this episode, we will be taking a look at the best guns you can avail of or purchase right now this 2024. These are mostly my personal takes, but I'm sure that none of the firearms I listed here are going to disappoint you. Before we get underway, please remember to hit the like and subscribe buttons. I know it is a chore, but these simple clicks help my channel immensely. Now, let's return to the video. CZ Shadow 2 Compact Arguably one of the best releases in 2023, the CZ Shadow 2 Compact still impresses shooters these days. In a nutshell, this pistol is the compact version of the flagship competition gun of CZ in the IPSC, which is the Shadow 2. Because of its smaller size, it's a viable option for an everyday carry pistol, and much of its design puts emphasis on its ergonomics, handling, and accuracy. It features a match-grade trigger, and this one has a pull weight of 3.4 pounds in single action and 10.3 in double action. It is smooth, crisp, and offers a tactile reset. The Shadow 2 Compact is built around a forged 7075 aluminum frame, which gives it a nice weight as compared to polymer pistols. Its 4-inch barrel is rugged and stable, and helps the gun gain extra accuracy on the range. Similar to its big brother, the Shadow 2 Compact includes a textured aluminum grip that enables a solid hold over the pistol. At the same time, both its magazine release and manual safety have a low profile and are ambidextrous. Meanwhile, its slide is compatible with Trijicon SRO or RMR optics, but even without a red dot, its fiber optic front sight and height adjustable rear sight should suffice. The Shadow 2 Compact has a standard capacity of 15 rounds with its flush fit mags, and that's more than enough to have fun in the range or to protect yourself when danger arises. Sig Sauer, P365 AXG Legion. It's safe to say that Sig Sauer got some inspiration from CZ when it made the P365 AXG Legion. Similar to the Shadow 2 Compact, this one is a competition ready pistol, but it leans more toward its concealed carry status. The key distinction of this pistol is that it merges the P365 and the Legion series. These two have been in the market for quite some time already, but it's the first time that they were lumped into one. One fantastic feature of the P365 AXG Legion is that it incorporates the X Macro Compensator in its setup. Basically, this means that the gun is extremely accurate and has negligible muzzle rise and recoil. Aside from that, both the P365 XM Macro and AXG Legion have similar capacities. Both sport 17 rounds of 9mm on their mags, which should give you solid stopping power. As I mentioned earlier, this all-new P365 is fashioned with Legion appointments, such as the X-Ray 3-Day Night Sights, Optics Cut Slide, Competition Mag Well, which you can remove, Flat Face Trigger, and G10 Grip Panels. With these features, the P365 AXG Legion has a stellar performance in the range. It's laser-accurate, reliable, and downright ergonomic. Springfield Echelon The Springfield Echelon is also one of the best handguns as of late. What makes this gun distinct is that it is the duty-sized version of the Springfield Hellcat, which is a gun made to compete against the P365 of Sig Sauer. There are several things you can love about this gun, even if you aren't the most savvy firearms out there. I particularly like its adaptive grip texture, which is also present in the Hellcat Pro. Once you hold the pistol, it definitely feels heftier than the Hellcat Pro, which again, is not a bad thing since it gives you better control over the pistol. Its slide has put some work in too. Press checking and racking are pretty easy with the front and rear serrations, flared rear, and trenched cut on its forward. However, the biggest deal of this pistol is its central operating group. First, it has an optic system that lets you slap at least 30 optics into the slide. Second, its standard capacity is 17 rounds, with the option to go up to 20 rounds of 9 millimeters. Third, this central operating group lets you swap different grip modules, and you can do it without the help of any tools. Of course, the Echelon features a positive operation. All of its controls are tactile, responsive, and easy to reach. 
The trigger design has been superb, as it's tactile and crisp. It hits the sweet spot every single time. Marlin 336. Classic. Now, have a sweet taste of the Marlin 336 Classic. The first rifle on this list is arguably one of the best you can buy right now for its price and quality. The Marlin 336 Classic is a lever-action rifle and has been tested for its long-range accuracy and reliability. It's not just suitable for hunting, but it can also be used for competition, defensive purposes, and other similar applications. This old-school rifle is chambered in 3030 Winchester and features superb construction. The quality of its metal and woodwork is just amazing. Plus, the bluing and polishing of this rifle make it a guaranteed head-turner. But aside from its craftsmanship, you should really get this rifle for its superior handling and ergonomics. The weight is nice, which is about 7 pounds. Not the lightest out there, but this one gives you a rugged feel. It has a length of 38.5 inches, while its barrel spans about 20 inches long. The trigger pull is about 8 pounds, and it's definitely crisp and consistent. It has an instinctive pointing, so you don't really need to adjust too much to get a good sight picture. I also find that it's very easy to shoulder, and once in position, the gun fires accurately at 100 yards. With an MSRP of $1,279, the Marlin 336 is admittedly one of the best value rifles in the market right now. Wilson Combat NULA Model 20. Ultralight rifles are becoming a trend these days, and leading the pack is perhaps the NULA Model 20 of Wilson Combat. For starters, this rifle is the modern take on the new Ultralight Arms Model 20 rifle. It weighs only 5 pounds, which is 2 pounds lighter than the Marlin 336. Basically, Wilson Combat purchased NULA and made significant upgrades to their files, with the Model 20 serving as the benchmark. There are several upgrades made to the original design of the rifle. For example, it has been equipped with a threaded muzzle for attaching suppressors. Its bolt handle has been grooved and enlarged for better manipulation. Meanwhile, the hinged floor plate is light and is also a welcomed addition to its setup. This one aids in the quick unloading of its magazine box. Speaking of, its standard capacity is four rounds and can shoot the likes of 358 Winchester, 308 Winchester, 6.5 Creedmoor, and 2 of 43 Winchester. Another defining feature of the firearm is its Timney Elite Hunter trigger. I see this as the biggest upgrade in the NULA Model 20 design. The trigger system adds a two-position safety that locks the rifle's bolt handle, basically preventing accidental discharges. In terms of its actual trigger, it is crisp and consistent. It has a tactile feel, and that makes the rifle more enjoyable to shoot. Mossberg Patriot LR Tactical Mossberg has been consistent with the quality of its production rifles, such as the LR Tactical. For starters, the LR Tactical has a two-lug bolt-action configuration and features a weighted 22-inch barrel and synthetic chassis stock. The most popular model of this rifle is chambered in 6.5 Creedmoor, but you can also try it in 6.5 PRC, or 308 Winchester chambering. This rifle is about 42.3 inches long and weighs roughly 9 pounds, so it's definitely not the lightest rifle you can buy. Still, you will love this gun because of its well-balanced design and long-range precision. Plus, it gives you 10 rounds before reloading, and that's a far cry from the usual four-round capacity rifles. Again, I have to mention that this rifle handles really well. It's surprisingly easy to maneuver, and that should give you more leeway when it comes to your positioning. However, its action is just average at best. Though it cycles relatively fast, I don't really think that it's the most impressive feature of the gun. Still, props to Mossberg for making the Patriot LR tactical a sharp, long-distance shooter. Remington 870 Tactical I'm not particularly choosy when it comes to shotguns, but this doesn't mean that I rank every shotgun the same. Take the 870 Tactical as an example. Admittedly, this is a low-budget shotgun with a street price of $450 or less. It's more affordable than many handguns right now, but this 12-gauge pump-action shotgun works perfectly in any home defense scenario. It weighs 7.5 pounds and offers a capacity of six rounds. The reason many Americans love the Remington 870 is because of its ease of operation. You can fire the handgun conveniently, which is a key advantage in pressing or stressful situations. Furthermore, it's downright reliable, so it rarely malfunctions. It's affordable but rugged, so you can't really ask more from this shotgun. 
Plus, let me emphasize this. The Remington 870 Tactical is a common shotgun, so you can probably find it in your local stores for a price that won't hurt your wallet. Beretta 1301 Tactical Another hot shotgun at the moment is the Beretta 1301 Tactical. Priced around $1,600 per unit, this semi-automatic gas-operated 12-gauge shotgun is a solid choice for those who want to shoot a combat-oriented firearm. Its standard capacity is 6 plus 1 rounds when using 3-inch shells, while it's 7 plus 1 rounds with two 3 4-inch shells. The Beretta 1301 Tactical is a guaranteed fast shooter thanks to its Blink operating system. Moreover, this particular operating system is smooth and has a self-cleaning mechanism that ensures a seamless and recoilless performance. Using this tactical shotgun is easy. It has an oversized bolt release, as well as a large charging handle for positive manipulation. The texturing on its handguard is appropriately aggressive, which basically tells that you can use the gun regardless of the condition. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more gun videos like this, just click the subscribe button and notification bell. Take care and stay safe. Care and stay safe.